What we're learning of Korea's fifth largest conglomerate, uh, Seoul prosecutors widened their investigation into Lotte Group. Quite a number of its business units overseas are established in countries known as tax havens. Now, with prosecutors already investigating embezzlement and slush fund allegations, the latest finding does nothing but adds more suspicions on Lotte's not so transparent business management. Lee Min Young reports. Korea's fifth largest conglomerate, Lotte Group, turns out to be running some four dozen offshore units in suspected tax havens, adding to other issues that have engulfed the embattled group, such as allegations of embezzlement and slush funds. According to the corporate analysis agency Korea 20,000 Corporate Research Institute, 46 units out of Lotte's 256 overseas subsidiaries are based in countries known as tax havens as of 2016. That mounts up to 18 percent of all overseas units. Lotte is running 26 affiliates in Hong Kong, the largest number, followed by Singapore with nine, five in the Netherlands and three in the Cayman Islands. There is also a unit in Luxembourg, Mauritius and the British Virgin Islands each. These countries are usually known as tax havens since businesses are allowed to pay fewer tax, if any. And some of these countries are yet to ink tax agreements with Korea, thus making it difficult to track down tax evasion by Korean companies. Korea has yet to sign a tax agreement with Hong Kong. This means that the company's account details and information on tax payments are mostly untraceable, which could be a hurdle when it comes to investigating the company. The expert added that although there is no concrete evidence pointing at Lotte deliberately choosing tax havens for its overseas units, the findings still raise suspicions on the group's activities. Lotte Group controls a large number of overseas units branched out to these tax havens in many layers, which exhibits a highly complex structure. Also, some strongly suspicious activities were detected, such as building up a hotel in Russia, while the controlling company has its office in the Netherlands. Early this month, prosecutors launched an all-out investigation into Lotte over its alleged embezzlement and slush funds. So far, Lotte has denied any wrongdoing. Lee Min-young, Arirang News.